please check out our other videos and remember to click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Hello and welcome to another episode and welcome to our 700 pound e-bike. So this is just me and a mobile phone and uh, Florence, we're out on the bike today. Uh, it's only probably the third time we've managed to get out on it, but it has been brilliant. I'm gonna run you through a few facts of what we've got. So first of all, we've got the waterproof bag just here. This little thing here, that has got the controller, the heat sink, all the wiring. Uh, it is waterproof, but unfortunately I've had to wire just underneath. So uh, the zip is actually open, um, but nothing's got in there. I don't ride it in cataclysmic weather. I do ride it off road. As you can see, it's quite dirty. 12 99 off eBay. You can't moan at that. Then we've got the hub, which you can see just here. And that came with everything absolutely everything it came with a sensor that goes on the crank for the pedal assist it came with a cabling it came with the wiring it came with the switches on the brakes uh, to cut the power when you need it to just everything and it was so easy to put together we had to solder two wires uh root some cable in cable tie some stuff but actually it was it was very very easy uh, I, was, I was i was pleasantly surprised because when i saw the picture i, I, I thought mm, that's probably not going to be what we get and if we do the quality is not going to be great but actually the quality is really good surprisingly good um, and so far we're I'm gonna say a hundred miles in and it's it's been awesome it's really been awesome nothing's broken so and it's you know it's been through the mill a little bit so it's done well that was 229 pound 99 um, again from eBay and China and um, so yeah all good the bike itself, as you can see there, is a B-Twin. Uh, it's actually decathlon, somebody somebody told me. And that was 279.99, but we managed to get 40 pound off. So it actually came down to 239.99. It was, it was quite important that we got a bike that we thought was gonna last, uh, but we didn't wanna pay too much. And actually, from what people have told me, this is a good choice, really, really good choice. So uh, adjustable forks on the front, you can weight those from, there's a little gauge down there. And yeah, that it's been it's been great. Uh, so yeah, 239.99 for that. And then there's the battery, which is just here. This also came from China. Actually, came from Wuhan. Uh, it was in the middle of the uh, coronavirus nightmare that they were having. So there was a little delay on there, but we still got it, and it does exactly what it says. Charging, I'm gonna say five hours from near to empty, uh, but that's no problem I'll just plug it in at night and leave it it goes in the garage and then I come to it the next time the next day and it's full what I will say in terms of range is I did two rides on this without Florence both of about 20 miles and both of me not really pedaling very much and it was nearly empty it was still working but on the gauge up there it was getting lower and lower and lower but it didn't stop on me so 40 miles of literally zero pedal assistance it uh, it did well it did more than I thought it would so it's um, a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery so it's got quite a lot in there and um, yeah it's good it's been very very good we did look at some equivalents of what we could buy and for this amount of power well you can't really buy them but the ones that you can buy uh, but we were like two and a half thousand to four thousand pounds some horrendous prices you know it's small small super mini car prices so we we just thought we're just going to build one and, and that's exactly what we did and we are really pleased with it really pleased the actual total i said 700 pound actually came to 788 pound 96 so we weren't far off but it's in the seven to eight hundred pound uh, category there are some things that I will upgrade on the bike. Uh, the bike obviously isn't designed to have that uh, that additional weight there on it, and certainly not the additional weight of the battery in the hub. Although that weight doesn't feel too bad when you're riding without the the 
battery assisting you. Uh, the brakes though, they definitely are a little bit underpowered. Well, they're not underpowered. I just feel they're having to work very, very hard. Uh, sometimes when I'm coming to a stop, uh, especially if I'm downhill with Florence on the back, just the, the sheer weight uh, is, is a lot of work for those. So there is an adapter you can get that goes just in there and brings this out and makes that you can get a bigger disc that goes in there so um yeah definitely definitely be doing that now i'm going to show you some footage of what it can do and what we've been doing on it obviously this is without florence because uh it's quite off-road and and quite quick um the one rule we have is that when florence is on the back it's 250 watts maximum so uh, yeah florence do you like the e-bike yeah how much lots like jelly tots, lots like jelly tots so excellent so I don't know how the sound's going to come out, but um, I will quite simply voice over if it doesn't. So, oh, I don't know if you can hear the motor when it comes in. So I give a quick twist of the throttle. Oh, it's quite muddy. Let's just change down the gear. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. This is just ridiculous. Jesus. It's amazingly powerful. The amount of torque that I'm getting here. So, I don't know if you just heard that, that random noise. Yeah, I get that every now and again, but it's done that since day one. So, this is better, it's a bit softer. Going's better, yeah. Go this way. God, lots of things being chucked up here. Oh. Bit wet, I'm not going through that. I think it's definitely some vehicle tracks that have been down here before, so it's just making it a little bit easier for me to... Oh God! Oh. And the beauty is, if the battery does go flat, you can just pedal it like a bike. Oh. Oh no, they're stinging nettles. Oh shit. There's a deer. Let's see if we can catch up with the deer there. Oh. The deer can run it, so can we. I don't think I can actually ride. Dude, Oh. Well, I've got to say, it's certainly ticking everything I throw at it. This is the most off-road I've been. Oh. The frame, actually, the B-Twin, oh, um, apparently is that actually a decathlon. Oh, there's some hairs. Got that quick. It's actually a decathlon frame and uh, they're, they're very good. Well renowned for uh, the quality. So I'm hoping that it sticks together, it stays together for me. Oh, let's go through there. Oh, it's stinging nettles, don't want those. I've got shorts on. Oh yeah. It's actually good exercise, I'm not even pedaling. Just trying to stand up on the bike. I can feel all my muscles inside and then, oh yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't like to come off at this speed. Oh. Amazing, right, that's, uh, that's that odd noise that I get, but. Oh God. Oh.
Jeez. Oh no, straight through the mud. Okay, so what I can tell you is I need to put mud guards on because that's gone in my mouth, it's gone up my chin and it's gone up my legs. Okay, back out into the into the open now. Okay, a bit of a flatter track, so we go down here. Jesus. 25. if you saw that but that was uh, the front wheel just came up there thank you Thank you. Thanks, mate. Just lightly on the throttle. 